Hello friends, welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about on a new topic that is calculation and construction of simple conical projection with one standard parallel and also describe different properties, disadvantages and uses of this projection and also some questions had been presented at the ending portion of this video. This is the fourth lesson of map projection series. In the first lesson, we had been discuss about polar genital stereographic projection and second lesson, we had been discuss about cylindrical equal area projection and third lesson, we had been discuss about marketer's projection or cylindrical orthomorphic projection which link is provided into the description section. Simple conical projection with one standard parallel is a simple type of conical projections. In this projection, a single parallel is chosen as the standard parallel. Normally, the mid latitudes areas are better represented by this projection. Now I calculate and construct of simple conical projection with one standard parallel. Problem here draw a graticles on simple conical with one standard parallel on India at an interval of 4 degree and scale 1 is to 80 for the extension 4 degree north to 36 degree north and 60 degree east to 100 degree east. Calculation Step 1 Radius of generating globe Reduced to given scale R equal to radius of earth whole divided by denominator of RF. Earth radius is constant, it is 640 000 whole divided by denominator of RF is 80000 is equal to 8 centimeter. Step 2. Calculation of central meridian at an interval of 4 degree. 60 degree east, 64 degree east, 68 degree east, 72 degree east, 80 degree east, 84 degree east, 88 degree east, 92 degree east, 96 degree east, 100 degree east. So, Central meridian is equal to 60 degree plus 100 degree whole divided by equal to 80 degree east. Step 3. Division along the central meridian for spacing the parallels is equal to formula here pi r whole divided 180 degree into interval. Pi into r means 8 whole divided by 180 degree into interval is equal to 4 4 degree is equal to 0 0.56 centimeter selection of standard parallel at an interval of 4 degree 4 degree north 8 degree north 12 degree north 16 degree north 20 degree north 24 degree north 28 degree north 32 degree north and 36 degree north and standard parallel is equal to 4 degree plus 36 degree whole divided by 2 is equal to 20 degree north. Step 5. Radius of standard parallel is equal to r cot phi. This is a formula r cot phi is equal to r means 8 into cot means 1 by 10 or phi means 20 degree is equal to 21.99 centimeter. This is the radius of standard parallel. Here standard par parallel here 20 degree north. Okay. Next or final step division along the standard parallel for spacing the meridians at an interval of 4 degree. Formula here is equal to 2 pi r into cos phi into interval whole divided by 360 degree 2 into pi 
into r means 8 and cos phi means cos 20 degree into interval is equal to 4 whole divided by 360 degree equal to 0 0.52 centimeter. Now we draw a simple conical projection with one standard parallel. At first draw a vertical straight line on a sheet of paper and mark the vertex as P. Then mark the radius of standard parallel as 21.99 cm. Then draw an arc with radius r cot phi to represent the standard parallel. Then divide the central meridian on both sides of standard parallel at equal distance of 2 pi r whole divided by 180 degree into interval. Okay. Then draw other parallel as concentric circle. parallel for spacing the meridians at a distance of 2 pi r cos phi into interval whole divided by 360 degree. Then join all the points with P and extend the lines to form the meridians. Mark the boundary confirming the extension of latitude and longitudes. And then level the graticules as 80 degree east, 88 degree east, 96 degree east, 100 degree east, 104 degree east, left hand side 72 degree east 64 degree east 60 degree east and 56 degree east and latitude is 4 degree north 80 degree north 12 degree north 16 degree north 20 degree north 24 degree north 28 degree north 32 degree north and 36 degree north also you can draw the map like this
the scale at the bottom as RF scale as well as you can put graphical scale like this. And give the suitable title of projection on the top as simple conical projection with one standard parallel. Now we discuss the different properties of simple conical projection. First, this is a non-perspective projection and easy to construct. Second, the parallels of latitudes are areas of concentric circle and are equally spaced. Three, the meridians are straight lines and the meridians intersect the parallels at a right angle. Four, distance at meridians are fairly accurate. Fifth, there is a convergence of meridians towards the poles and closer to each other towards the poles. Six, the scale become distort on north and south away from the standard parallel. The projection is neither equal area nor orthomorphic. So it is called aphylatic projection. Limitations of this projection are first, it is not used for world map due to extreme distortion. Second, the distortion along the poles and near the equator makes the projection disadvantages for representing very large area. Uses of this projection are, first, it is most suited for mapping middle latitude areas. Second, a long narrow strip of land running along the standard parallel in the east-west direction is so fairly correctly. Now presenting a question to you. You can write the answer in the comment section as per your choice. Question 1. A map projection having correct direction and correct shape but area greatly exaggerated poles what is option here one. or a cylindrical equal area projection option b marketers projection option c conical projection and option d all of the above question 2 a map projection least suitable for world map option a marketers projection option b simple cylindrical option c conical and D all of the above. Question 3. A map projection that is neither the equal area nor the correct shape and even the directions are also incorrect. So option here simple conical 2 B polar genithal C marketers D cylindrical equal area projection. So almost is covered in this topic. If you have any doubt or query regarding this topic put it on comment section. I will look it. Alright, I hope you found the video is informative and helpful. Thanks for watching. I see you next one.